Slay or nay, Dutch Bros? Okay, it's a nay. Here's why. It was Starbucks. Everybody thought they were all cool with the Starbucks cup with their name spelled wrong on the back. And then somebody decided, Ooh, let's switch it up. And now it's Dutch Brothers and they give stickers, I believe, and those look so dumb. So, and it's just like a bunch of crud in a cup. Like, I will make some crud in a cup and you can come by and give me $5 and I'll give you the crud in the cup. And I'll find stickers. A dinosaur sticker. No cap. <laughs> Slay or nay? That's yours. Oh, slay. 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 Is slay, bro. Yeah. Slay on baby boy. Slay. Slay. Slay for sure. Slay or nay? That's yours. Slay. Slay or nay? That's yours. Slay. Yeah. Slay or nay? That's yours. Nay. Slay or nay? That's yours. Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Ooh, I'll say slay. Nay. <laughs> Dutch Bros. Nay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Oh, slay. Slay. Cause like... What? Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Bros. Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Slay or nay Dutch Bros? Slay. Um, I would say slay. Slay. Nay. Slay or nay, Dutch Uh, slay. Slay or nay, Dutch Slay. This is good. Slay. Definitely slay. It's the place to go after school. Slay or nay, Dutch Uh, nay. Hey, it's Angelia. And I'm Tayson. Good morning. Remember to be rad, be rad, and stay rad. Res responsible and respectful. A few reminders about this week is to no gum on campus and throw your trash away. Every Thursday, the Friday Night Live Club will be meeting in room 501 at lunch. Please join us for super fun activities and great conversation. Chess Club meets every Thursday in room 21. Attention all Mesa student artists. If you are an artist and enjoy drawing or painting and have art that you would want to put in the yearbook, please put it in Mr. Slater's box with your advisory class teacher's name on the back along with your name. Thank you, Mesa Yearbook. Stay, Stay rad. rad! Hey, it's Mark. And Finn. With your Mesa Sports Report. Here's an update for our volleyball team. It's been a fun couple of weeks. Here are your scores. Thursday, the 8th of September, both teams lost in two sets to Mission. Monday, September 12th, the 8th graders lost to Laguna. And the 7th graders lost a hard-fought match in three sets. Wednesday, September 14th, both teams beat Paulding. Go Hawks! On Monday this week, both teams lost in three sets to Judkins. Good luck next week, ladies. The Pomo Seniors had a bye week last week. Tomorrow they pick they play Long Poke at home. The Pomo Cowboys Intermediate Silver beat Vandenberg Village 42 to 19 this week. They play Santa Maria Ruthless Rebels. Intermediate Blue had a bye last week. This week they play SC Eagles at home. Our cross country team had a meet. The seventh grade team got second place. Great job, Hawks. Roxanne McLean won third place. Marcus Snapley got fifth place. Eighth grade was got second, and it was a long one three quarter miles. And the Pomo Titans have a game at home tonight against Mission. Good luck, guys. Hey Hawks, I'd like you to meet your 22-23 ASB officers. Hello, my name is Maylee, and I'm your Sergeant of Arms. I'm Sophia, and I'm your treasurer. I'm Marley, and I'm your secretary. I'm Chandler, and I'm your vice president. I'm Brooklyn, and I'm your president. Be rad, Hawks. <laughs> hey, I'm Diana, and 
This week, Junior Maldonado was nominated to be spy Student Spotlight of the Week by Mr. Fasthaven. RSV students will be highlighting one student throughout one one student each week throughout the year. Here All right, that's it. Let's hear from Junior. Hi, Junior. We're gonna ask you a few questions. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is math. What's your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team is the San Francisco 49ers. What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing sports with my family. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. What's your favorite food? And my favorite food is pizza. All right, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hi, I'm Ash. Hi, I'm Zephyr. And next Friday is Dress Like a Teacher Day. So figure out who you can dress up as. Yeah. <laughs> I will continue for what is in my favorite nature to this game because you are free to do whatever you want on your mind. You can talk to your villagers and you can give them items, clothes like your food, except suits, pants, and backpacks. Both people in Florida can see on this. You can fight your friends to your mind. Online or wireless play. Mother Test Go is my favorite villager because he is the best filter on my island named Paradise. You can also go to your friend's island online or while they play. Stay kind, Hawks! Um, hey Hawks, it's me, Jalen, and Lainey. And we're here to talk about Mexican Heritage Month and how last Friday, September 16th, was Mexican Independence Day. Mexican Independence Day is a day is the day that marks when Mexico finally got their rights and what they initially deserved. My family is from Mexico, they're from Michoacan and Tepa, and it was a huge celebration for us. It was a long war politically, and I am glad that we are able to celebrate that day just as any other person would. Um, now we're going to uh, share some of our family traditions. Uh, my family tradition is um, having carne asada or pastor every single Sunday, and then another tradition is we eat tamales on Christmas. And Two of my family traditions are um, every Dia de los Muertos, we put up a shrine for our dead ancestors and we celebrate them. And every Christmas, we also have tamales, but we have this huge parade down in Porterville where my grandma and grandpa currently live. Hi, my name is Vincent. You may or may not know me. Um, a story that I have is back in my mom's hometown, they would have this thing called Dia del Burro, which is basically Day of the Donkey. And something that they would do was that all of the men in the town would cross dress and dress up as women. So they would put like makeup on, they would put dresses and then dresses and everything. And then there was a donkey. They would also dress the donkey up. They would put like flowers or just they would just dress dress the donkey up somehow. And they would two men in women's clothing would go around the town with the donkey and the donkey supposedly would be uh, knocking house to house for food. And My grandfather and his parents are part of the Mexico Native American tribe and they were the only tribe that were able to defeat the Aztecs. Hey Hawks! Coach Lindgren here, happy to report uh, the great work that our 7th grade girls volleyball team did and the 8th grade is doing as well. Our 7th grade girls yesterday at the St. Pat's Tourney knocked out 7 teams and got 2nd place out of 8 teams. Absolutely amazing. Here's some representatives. Get in here! Say something. Um, we played really well as a team and we all got like good playing time, which I like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for this week's raffle for being respectful and responsible, our respectful win winners are Anthony Ferrari and Kobe Ruiz. For being responsible, we have Mia Rodriguez and Noah Martinez. And then for dressing on higher ed Thursday last week, we have Viviana Fry. And for Mesa Gear last Friday, we have Valeria Santiago Rodriguez. If you are a raffle winner, come up to the office right now to get your prize. Stay Radhawks.